Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy AG Trip, and welcome to Zach's to Shoot, my normal weekly episodic show where I talk about what's going on in the world of professional wrestling. If you don't know why the last couple of weeks there hasn't been a show, uh, I have a video that I did yesterday that tells you about what has happened in the last two weeks. You can go ahead and look at that. But yeah, WWE has released more talent. Some shocking names as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and let's talk about it and uh, wonder why they are doing this. So, this past week, the WWE released Braun Strowman, Aleister Black, Buddy Murphy, Ruby Riot, Lana, and Santana Garrett. Um, and this comes weeks after. Releasing some NXT stars, including uh, the Velveteen Dream, and that comes after weeks after releasing the Iconics, Samoa Joe, among others, in, in that one. So it is, uh, it is, it is, it is unreal what is going on up at WWE. Um, there have been some thoughts that maybe what they are doing is they are trying to trim down budget cuts, you know, and they do budget cuts so that they can sell, sell the data beat. And, um, that's scary, because I'm, like I mentioned, um, before in, in a little mini video I did a couple days ago, that, you know, the data beat is a family-owned business, and to give it to, sell it to somebody that. You know that, that could be that, that that frightens me that it, it's gonna be something that it shouldn't be. This should this should be a family-owned business. This should be something that is owned by McMahon's. You know, it's, it's owned by Vince's father and it's been owned by Vince. This should be owned by Stephanie and Shane, and then it should be owned by their kids, and maybe even possibly even th um, their kids' kids. You know, this should not be being yeah, sold. Now, some people are saying that they're not selling and they're never going to sell. Um, there's, you know, a story that Nick Khan, the CEO uh, or whatever he is of uh, WWE, he had told uh, Colin Cowherd that um, that it, it, he was never going, that he's never going to sell. WWE's never going to sell, but then. You have to ask yourself, okay, so then, but then, why, so then, why are you doing all of these you just, you, releases? You're just cutting just to cut. So I, uh, you know, which if that's what they're doing, then that's fine. They have their right to do it, and that's understandable. You have to do what you have to do because the re is a business. Is is just run? It should just be run. It just should be a family business. But it is a business, and they have to do business the way they have to do. I mean, all these people out here who are upset that the WWE keeps you know, cutting people and they keep releasing people and they are upset and they're never going to watch it. They're, these are not WWE fans. You are not a WWE fan if you are, if you, if you are stopped watching, you know, you know, Raw or, or SmackDown or anything like that. If you are stop if you, you stop watching, if you stopped watching it because they were, you know, they made a deal with Saudi Arabia or anything like that. You were not a WWE fan to begin with. So, Goodbye, good riddance. You know, it's 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 you know, you're not in our our club anymore. You know, the real WWE fans are here to stay, and they're going to see, and they're going to continue to be here, um, watching and enjoying what they're doing. You know, and yes, there's going to be days where, well, that guy gets released, or that girl gets released, or anything like that. But you know, it's a part of the game. And unfortunately, sometimes you have to do that, and that's okay, and we understand. And um, the six people who were released this week, they will continue to be, uh, you know, they will go on, and they will go on to do other things, not better things, more than likely, but they will go on to do other things, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's on them. So. But uh, yeah, it, it's uh, kind, of, you know, kind of a shock uh, when the re these releases hit, and uh, 
you just yeah, you just wonder you know, what 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 is happening, and uh, you also got to wonder are, are more coming, and with it being only June fifth, um, and we've already had three things. I would not be surprised if we get four, maybe even five more releases like this in, 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 uh, of NXT and WWE talent. And they're gonna, probably going to be some shocking names. Some names that you don't, you wouldn't have even thought of. And uh, wow, it's, it's, it's going to blow your mind. So, But now let's go ahead and let's quickly go over the six guys and and, and gals that, that, that were released and uh and talk about them for a minute so let's start with Santana Garrett uh, she made just a couple of appearances you know she was in a she was in the Mae Young Classic I believe and uh, she did some things, a couple of things for NXT uh, she was on um, she's on in the Royal Rumble I believe this year um, and uh, there was some talk that maybe she was going to actually make her main roster debut um, this week on SmackDown. But she also got released. You know, uh, I, can't, I can't say too much about it because I didn't see a lot of her. Um, but, you know, you, you hope the best for her. And hope that she can continue on and, uh, and uh, continue doing her thing. And who knows, at some point she may be back. Um... Lana, uh, obviously she's the wife of Miro. She was in the tag team with Naomi, the the whatever they call it, the glow and flow or whatever it was. Um, and this one was kind of strange because of you know everything that they put into her, I believe, and and, and things like that. But this is, it is what it is. You know, to, to me, to me, this is just this is just a so easy, so simple thing. You put her back with Miro in AEW. Miro is away from the ridiculous, and he's you know now being um, you know he's now being a uh, who he who who he was in WWE. Rusev, you know, he's he's being him, and so. I think you put him back. You put her back with Miro, and you know she 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 becomes her. You know she becomes the, her his uh, manager, and and his, and everything like that. And maybe she even wrestles a little bit as well. But yeah, I think that's that's such an that's it's an easy one. We'll be riot. Um, that that seems to be the one that broke broke everybody. Broke everybody, uh, apparently, because everybody loved Ruby Riot behind the scenes, and you know, um, she was really good. I remember there's a couple of things on the up 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 down down channel, um, that uh, that that uh, that um, Xavier Woods did with, with Ruby Riot, and she she was really you know she was she was like, she, was, she, she 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 did she seemed like a really cool girl and everything like that, and it was like you know she was. Because, you know, I think, I think everybody loved her, and everybody loved, you know, loved her, and, and, I, and, I, and you know, she's going to go out, and she's going to, I, I think she's going to do something, I, I think she's going to be really, really good on the, on the indies, and, and, and wherever, wherever she goes, and I think she's going to be, you know, she's going to continue to be good, and, and again, I, I don't think it's over for her in the WWE yet as well. Hopefully not. And the thing, I think, I think hopefully for, for for a lot of these folks, for a lot of these folks, I hope that what it is is just that you know right now they decided to just make a cut. But hopefully, you know, you know, like I said, that you know they'll come back and say, you know what. That's what happens. So, now, I would like to see you right back in in, in WWE. I really would. Um, Buddy Murphy. Um, he 
was, uh, you know, he was in NXT. He was with Wesley Blake, and they were a tag team. Alex Bliss was there, was their manager. Um, then uh, things went haywire, and Buddy Murphy got a call to 205 Live, and I think Wesley Blake was got injured or something like that. And then he was a 205 Live, and he became the Cruiserweight Champion, and he had a great run as Cruiserweight Champion. He was you know, brought up to the main roster as well, and he did great things. And he did that thing a couple years ago with the who um, with Roman storyline, and you know he was he was a, he he somehow he, he accidentally put himself a part of the storyline, and he had a great match with Roman, a great match with Daniel Bryan, with a match with, which in which he won. So and there's a lot of stuff he, he, he you know that people thought he did, and he had fantastic matches with his. Alistair Black, uh, and then he became part of Seth Rollins' disciples and everything like that. Then he had the Mysterio thing, and and it and from that point on, it just didn't you know he didn't have any didn't any work done. So, you no, know, he again he was one of those people that maybe you know he, he, he could have been the person that you know he could you know you did you, you know, that you could have you know the, the guy could have be you know instead of. You know, instead of seeing, you know, so and so versus so and so week after week, one of those so and sos could have been against Brady Murphy, <laughs> you know, you know, and or something like that. So, but whatever it is, um, you know, there's a lot of talk that both um, both Brady Murphy and Kenny Omega for some reason have each other as their dream match. So, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to AEW or not. Uh, doesn't make any sense, but it, it just is what it is. And uh, so that's it for Buddy Murphy. Uh, Alistair Black, who's now Tommy End, um, who knows where he's going to go? Because he is, you know, he can he can do he can be everything and do anything. I think he's you know he is someone that is. Just with a good look, the, the, the black mask finisher. If he decides to keep it, it's incredible. I love it. Um, and I, and I think that it is. Um, it, it's going to be interesting to see if he goes back over to Europe, and that's where he got his his his. his Finally, found the European scene, so he finally goes back over to the Europe and uh, and does his thing there. So, um, that's the black now. Tommy End, back to being Tommy End. Uh, it's gonna be cool to see where he goes to, and then of course the big name Braun Strowman. Who knows what what, what he's gonna do? Who knows what he's gonna do? He could go back to being strong man. He can. He can be an actor. You know, there's other things to do. He doesn't have to do wrestling. You know, that's the thing. There's other things that is good for him. Um, if, if if he was to do wrestling, I think New New, New Japan is probably the best place for him because he can be the, the big American Gaijin and uh, and, and be, be a star over there. Um, but yeah, I I I I, I see. Braun Strowman is the only one. Lana could do it too, I guess. I guess she could just do her influencer stuff. But for, I think for the most part, I think, um, I, yeah, I think for the most part, um, Braun Strowman is uh, he's the he's the main one who doesn't have who doesn't have to do wrestling uh, to become even a bigger star than he is right now. So. Uh, can't can't wait to see what he does with with, with, with his the rest of his career. All right, y'all. Push your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about the WWE releases. Are there going to be more? Uh, do you think they're doing this to sell? Let me know down in the comment section how you feel. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy AJ Trip signing off. As always, be good.
to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.